What's up, folks? Today, I want to make a video uh, on the 7.3 Power Stroke about changing the fuel filter and doing the uh, fuel bowl heater. Uh, the truck's been hard, hard to start on cold mornings. And uh, I tested my gold plug relay and my gold plugs, and they all seem to be working. So I'm thinking this is the culprit. Uh, so let's get right into it. First thing you're gonna do, um, let's take this cover off. You got a 13 millimeter cap screw or cap nut on those two studs. Um, then let's have a half inch drive. I already broke it loose. Just, just spin that off like that. And this is your actual fuel filter. Oh yeah, I forgot a step. You need to drain this before you, you start taking this apart. Um, on the back back here, there's a yellow knob. If you can see that, um, there's the windshield. So I'm looking at it from that way. And you're gonna reach down here and you're gonna turn it 90 degrees clockwise like this. and uh, you'll have a little bit of diesel come out of there. It's a good idea to do this on a regular basis uh, on any diesel engine. Um, because, you know, it's separating your water. Water will build up in there and that's not good. So, because that leads to corrosion and, and junk in your, in your fuel system. So, uh, it's a good idea to drain that. I like to drain mine every, you know, at least once a month, which is probably overkill, but I stop at a gas station and I'll pop my hood and drain it, check my oil. All right, so now that that's done, reach back here and turn it back counterclockwise 90 degrees. Um, these are supposed to leak sometimes, um, even when the, when the valve's shut. I haven't had it happen to me yet, but I've heard, I've heard stories about that. And so, all right, so taking this out. I'm pretty sure you can buy this whole fuel bowl unit and uh, I think it's a pretty pretty good deal if you do that. I haven't had to do it yet, but. All right, once you get, the, uh, once you get this out, the fuel filter and the cap, you're gonna look down. I don't know if you guys can see this. All right, so there's, there's this, um, this is O-ring right here. You, when you go back to install the new one, you want to do uh, lip side up. So the point will be pointing up. And then you're gonna look down in here. This is your uh, fuel heater element. That's what I'm gonna be replacing today with the Motorcraft one. And um, it looks pretty bad. It looks, it looks pretty rusty. So that's what, um, you have uh, two um, Torx bolts down there. It's gonna be a T20. So uh, let me go ahead and take take one of those out for you guys. All right, and then the other side. the other side alrighty and there's also a plug there's a plug right down there where that red wire is alright so here's the new one you uh, you have the same two Torx holes and uh, the plug on the back and it fits down on top of this piece right here let me take it out and put it in the sunlight. Um, there's a spring. And that's uh, it's, it's where the, the element sits on. And then your filter goes back on top of that. Alright, so this tube, it's a plastic tube right here. Um, inside there, there's a spring. And then there's a rod that has to be lined up with the center of the tube. So that pops out. Um, after you take the element out, 
Uh, make sure you realign that. I had to use two hands, so I couldn't record it. Uh, and the plug, it just, it just slid right back on there. And the small ring goes on the base of the filter right here. And then the big one goes on the cap with the lip up. Uh, the filter on the right is the filter I took out. It's uh, not Motorcraft. Um, you can take the inner filter out, but the outer filter is uh, made in with a cap. So I had a problem because when I bought the Motorcraft, the filter just came with the filter. Luckily, I had a cap laying around. Um, comes with the uh, O-rings. The little O-ring goes on the top uh, and the groove on the filter all the way around. Just like that. And then uh, this one. You're gonna sit, this is what I saw with the lip. Uh, lip up. So sit right there. This is the old one. And uh, that's it. It's ready to go on. I'm gonna go ahead. Stick it in there. It's pretty easy, it's not rocket science. I don't like this O-ring though, it's just all bent up and it's not seating right. And the old one don't look bad, so, yeah. so I'm just gonna use a Just like that, I, I rubbed some diesel on the O-rings, so it's got some lube and uh, cap on. Slowly tighten that down. And the fuel pressure only gets up to what, like 40, 60 PSI, so it ain't gonna be super crazy tight. Hands out would probably do it, but I'm still gonna put a little ump on it. Let's find something here. Here we go. Tighten it down a little bit more. That's all, folks. It's that simple. Um, remember to tighten your uh, valve back up on the back, your yellow valve. And uh, that's it. So thanks for watching and uh, have a nice day. Good luck.